Good morning, everyone. I am Sharmin Rose Bradman from Bachelor in Technology and Livelihood Education, major in Home Economics 3. So for today, I will be presenting my demo teaching in TLA Cookery. And this is my semi-detailed lesson plan. Allow me to start. Good morning, class. Joyce, can I lead the prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, good morning once again, class. How are you today? All right, that's good to hear. Let's have an energizer. Rose, can you lead the energizer? Okay, thank you for your cooperation. Kindly pick up the pieces on the floor and align your chairs. You may now take your seats. Okay, class monitor is absent for today. All right, very good. No one is absent. Congratulations. Keep it up, class. Ah, who can give me a recap what was our lesson last meeting? Yes, Malaai? Yes, very good. Our lesson last meeting was all about methods of cooking. Who can you give me an example of methods of cooking? Yes, Rose. Yes, correct. Broiling, another one. Yes, fine. Yes, roasting. So are you ready for our new lesson for today? Okay, that's good to hear. So now, as you can see on the screen, there are three objects. Who will volunteer to identify the first object? Yes, Maria. Yes, very good. It is an apron. How about the second object? Yes, Anna. All right, it is a ladle. And the third object? Yes, Rose. Very good. It is a frying pan. So those three objects you see on the screen have something to do with our lesson for today. So our lesson is all about kitchen utensils commonly found in the kitchen. So class, where do you think you can use the three objects you have seen? Yes, Hazel. Very good. We can use the three objects in cooking. In learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to identify the kitchen utensils commonly found in the kitchen. Value the uses and importance of kitchen utensils and demonstrate the proper use of kitchen utensils. So class, what is a kitchen utensil? It is a small handheld tool used for food preparation. So now let us identify the different kitchen utensils commonly found in the kitchen with its function and uses. So number one, what is it? Oh, don't answer in chorus. Raise your hand if you want to answer. Yes, Rashame. Yes, very good. It is a chopping board. It is a durable board on which we place material for cutting. Next, number two. Yes, Ron. Yes, a knife is composed of blade fixed into a handle used for cutting such as meat. And number three. Yes, Elsa. Yes, a very good is a frying pan. It is a flat bottom pan used for frying, searing, and browning foods. Okay, let's proceed to number four. I know you are all familiar with this. Yes, it is an apron. What is the use of apron? Yes, it protects your clothing from any spells on dirt. And next we have, yes, Dana? Yes, it is a measuring cup. It is used for primarily measuring the volume of a liquid or box solid cooking ingredients such as flour and sugar, especially for volumes about 50 ml upward. And number six, we have, yes, Raya, bowl. A round dish or container typically used to prepare and serve food. Next, we have, yes, Anna, yes, it is a grater used to grate cheese, etc. It can also be used to grate soft foods. So number eight, these are oven gloves. An insulated gloves are melting usually worn in the kitchen to easily protect the wearer's hand from the hot objects such as ovens, stoves, cookwares, etc. 
So number nine, we have, yes, Angel. Correct, this is level. It is a type of spoon used for soap, stew, and others. And number 10, yes, Rose. Yes, very good. It is a spatula, you know it. A handheld tool that is used for lifting, flipping, or spreading. And next, we have number 11. So are you familiar with this? Number 11. Okay, it is a spoon used for primarily for eating. And and next, we have the strainer. It is used to strain liquids away from other ingredients, but also occasionally sift the ingredients away from larger ingredients. And, and next, number 13. Yes, Frank? Yes, very good. It is a fork. It is used to spear foods from either to hold them, to cut with a knife, or to lift them to the mouth. Number 14, we have wooden spoon. It is used for stirring sauces and for mixing ingredients in cooking. And lastly, we have measuring spoons. Used to measure an amount of an ingredient, either liquid or dry when cooking. So those are different kitchen utensils. So class, do you have any questions regarding to our discussion? Are you sure? Okay, since you really understood our discussion, can you give me the definition of kitchen utensils, Angelica? Yes, precisely. It is a small handheld tool used for food preparation. Can anyone enumerate at least five kitchen utensils commonly found in the kitchen? Yes, from Precisely. All of your answers are correct. Are kitchen utensils important class? Yes. Why? Okay, kitchen utensils make our work in the kitchen faster and easier. So now, since you already understood our lesson for today, the class will be divided into two groups. Each group will present a demonstration on how to properly use the kitchen utensil for two minutes. I will give you two minutes to prepare. Your time starts now. Okay, time is up. Group 1, present your demonstration. Okay, nice presentation, Group 1. Let's proceed to Group 2. Okay, very good. Nice presentation also. Thank you. for. So now, since you already understood our lesson, get one front sheet of paper and answer the following. Kindly follow the directions as stated on the screen. I will give you three minutes to answer. Your time starts now. Okay, time is up. Exchange your papers clockwise at the count of one, two, three. Let us check your papers. Okay, done. Return the papers to the owner and counterclockwise at the count of three, two, one. Kindly pass all the papers to the front. Okay, thank you. Wow, you got all a perfect score. Congratulations, everyone. So now, class, for your assignment, kindly research and bring at least five different equipments found in the kitchen. So, stand up, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, class, this means see you next meeting and keep safe, everyone. Goodbye, class.